What's up everyone, it's Trevor back with another video and I'm sorry about missing last week. I took a really impromptu 4th of July trip down to Missouri to hang out with all of my older siblings and parents, watch my nieces and nephews run around lighting off fireworks. It was a lot of fun. But back to this video, I want to talk to you guys about how to maintain a balance between life and school while you're in college. I had a really tough time doing this and I want to give you guys some tips and try to help you avoid some of the things that dominated my GPA my freshman year that I was paying for later on down the road when I was trying to get a 4.0 just to bring that up. So maintaining a good life balance while you're in school has everything to do with priorities. And they actually might be different than what you think or say they are. And so the only true way to really know what your priorities are is to pay attention to everything that you do while you're not sleeping for a week or two and write it down. Say I spent this many hours in class, I spent this many hours um, outside of class studying, I spent this much time with friends, I spent this much time playing video games or going to the gym and when you get the final results, whatever activity you spend the majority of your time doing, that is your priority number one, whether you thought it was or not. And this really hit me hard my freshman year in college. I, When I finally figured out why I wasn't doing well in school, it was I sat down and I realized that I was spending a lot more time playing video games and wasting time on my computer than I was sitting in class paying attention to lecture or studying outside of class. And I could dominate anyone with a sniper rifle in Halo 3, but my GPA definitely suffered because it was priority number two or even three. So if you guys are serious about school, if you're trying to get into dental school, med school, law school, whatever type of graduate program you want to go into, school 100% needs to be your top number one priority. And the reason why is because when you when it comes time to apply to all of those different programs, you're going to be going up against a lot of students who definitely are making school priority number one. And if you don't do the same, the admissions committees are going to be able to tell and you're not going to be able you're not going to have the grades or the interpersonal skills that you need to get accepted. And just because school is now your number one priority, it doesn't mean that fun equals zero and you don't have any time for friends you don't have any time to do any of the things that make you happy in life it's actually what i found to be the opposite once i realized how to dedicate most of my time to school and stay on top of things and never get behind and never have to cram for an exam i felt like anytime my friends wanted to go hang out i could um, take one or two or three hours out of my schedule to go do whatever they wanted to do and have fun and relax and forget about class because I knew that I could come back and I wouldn't be behind and I wasn't constantly feeling the pressure that comes with not getting good grades or um, always worried about not understanding material because I've already put in the time that it takes to feel comfortable in the class. So what you need to do now is find out what you want to be priority two and three and realize that those all the time that you spend doing those are going to help you relax and forget about school and make you feel, make you happy, make you feel like school isn't the only thing that you're doing and you're not staying up late every night studying. You have time to de-stress, you have time to relax and just enjoy life because if you are, if you're not enjoying life and you're constantly feeling all this pressure from school, it's going to affect your grades. It's going to affect your performance on tests. And that is the last thing you want to do. It's counterproductive and it won't get you far and it won't get you reaching the goals that you have set for yourself. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you guys can start using some of this stuff while you're an undergrad to make application time a lot easier. You can get into that dream program that you've always wanted to. And once I figure out how dental school is going to be, um, figure out how to do well in class, I want to make a very simple similar video to this one, except for it's going to be uh, how to maintain a good life balance while you're in dental school. So I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in the next one.